Hi everyone, happy Friday. Just wanted to touch base on a few things before we all part ways for the long weekend. If you look below, you'll see that I have linked to a past student's assignment. It's his version of the writer's profile that was posted yesterday. Uh, so I would say that this student's particular work would be a really good example of what I consider to be a level three, meaning that he met all the expectations, he did exactly what was asked of him, didn't take it to the next level, didn't necessarily include anything that suggests any individuality or creative flair, but met the expectations. So this is what I'm looking at in terms of a level three. You'll also notice that a few of the questions are a bit different that particular year, so pay close attention to the instructions and the reflection questions for your particular assignment. Now, if you are someone who is striving for level four in the course, this would be one of the opportunities that I would strongly suggest that you take to inject some individuality and creativity into your assignment. So how can you take this uh, task to the next level by really showing me who you are as an individual and uh, putting your own creative spin on the uh, requirements for this assignment? I've seen some people do amazing things on YouTube, uh, turning this into kind of like an interview or a personal video. I've had someone upload audio and make it kind of like a cool radio uh, type interview. Just something that you can do to show me who you are personally as a writer, as opposed to just meeting the generic expectations. I really want you to focus on this assignment in terms of uh, explaining to me why you've chosen each of your uh, responses. So oftentimes this can uh, start to sound like a list where you're just listing, here's my favorite children's book, here's my favorite words. What I'm really paying attention to when I'm marking it is have you done a good job of explaining why you've chosen these things? Why was that your favorite children's book? Why do you like these words? Or why do you really dislike these words? So this is where I'm really looking to see, are you justifying why you've provided each of these uh, selections as opposed to just listing them? In terms of your MLA assignment, which is also due next week, please note that this, there are no tricks in terms of these questions. Each of the answers can be found directly in the lesson content. Rather than coming into this with your own expectations about what you've learned about MLA in the past, please derive your answers directly from the content provided, which means that your answers can be found directly on the Purdue University uh, sites, as well as in the Purdue University provided MLA PowerPoint presentation. Again, MLA changes their rules every year. Different instructors have different expectations, so rather than just answering the questions based on what you've learned in MLA up until this point, please make sure that your answers are coming directly from the content that I have provided you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I may log into the course once or twice this weekend just to see if there are any major pressing issues, but otherwise, if you know you have any questions, please do your best to ask them before the end of the day today so that I can ensure everybody gets the help that they need. Have a great weekend, guys. It's very well deserved, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.